Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I got the very best solo strategy on the new zombie map moon. I was playing around for a bit. There's the juggernaut. I've been playing around for a bit, so, uh, you know, I figured it out. I found out the best strategy, and uh, I decided I would share it with you guys. That way you guys can get high in the leaderboards. Um, the only way to actually ruin the strategy or, like, die from the strategy is your own stupidity, which, uh, if you see my highest, is level 17 because I'm dumb. But it's not, the, it's not the strat's fault. It was my fault for being stupid. And, uh, but I cut this video up into parts of the solo strat, and uh, also, also I don't have time to just keep playing over and over and over and over. But right here, when the zombies go berserk, uh, after you knife all the zombies, you want to knife them at the beginning, and then when the zombies go berserk, you want to just run around in circles and gather them all up. Watch out for the dogs, because they will kill you. And then, uh, you know, then you just want to turn on them and shoot uh, as much, like, obey. You want them to pile up as much as possible and then uh, shoot and try to, like, hit as many people, well, as many zombies, I should say, as many zombies as possible. And, uh, you know, like, that is not what you want to do. You want to wait a few and then right here. This is the best spot right there. And, uh, or right here, you know, you just want to make sure they're all gathered together and uh, those are the best areas. And right here, as long as they all went through that door, those are the areas you want to shoot. You want to gather up uh, 2,500 points. And, uh, and yeah, so that's what we're going to do right here. So we can buy Juggernaut before we even leave this area. I'm at 23. And also, uh, once you hit 2,500, you want to try to get as much points as possible. So I throw grenades. I'm, I'm really bad at throwing grenades on this map. As you can see, my grenade doesn't really get any points. Uh, ooh, 30 points. Yeah! And that grenade doesn't really get any points. So you got to, like... You gotta lead them with uh, with the grenade. You can't just like throw it into them. Since you're running around in circles, they're not gonna be there when the grenade goes off. But we're just gonna run up here, grab our juggernaut, and then go through the teleporter. And that's gonna be the start of the game. If you can't get jugs, redo it. Uh, you want jugs before you even play. We're gonna grab the mask right here, and then uh, you know just knife the first rounds. Uh, you wanna play the first rounds just by knifing until you get enough points to uh, to go out, open this door, which is 750, and then come down here and buy your M14. Uh, we're going to use the M14 the most, and then use the M14 until you get enough points to open this door right here for 750, which is on the left. This door right here for 1,000. And then uh, run through here, and then uh, I think the next door is 1250, so you need enough for that. So whatever that is, uh, what is that, 1250, 750, and 1,000. I don't know. You can figure it out. Right here is the box. I would not hit the box, though, and do not turn on the power until a little bit later. So, now we just saved up enough money to open this door. You want to have enough to open that door, which is 750, and enough for the Bowie knife, which is 3,000. You also want to try to find out where the hacker device is, because you're going to need it. So, we're just going to come up here with the power off. This way, it's easier. You can just run, jump, and you'll be able to buy the Bowie knife. You have to hold X while in midair. But once you get the Bowie knife, then just uh, save up enough points to be able to open the other doors. Ooh, max ammo. Alright, so we got enough points. We're actually going to come back down here and turn on the power. And then we're actually going to run back up here and uh, get the hacker device. Uh, so, like I said, I was cutting out parts because there were zombies and stuff. You want to try to save a zombie. Uh, if you use the hacker device to hack the, the door right here, it does take a long time. I'm actually speeding it up. It does take a long time. So you want to save a zombie, maybe a crawler or something like that. And uh, there, you can hack that door. And then you want to come over here and hack this door as well. Also, do not throw grenades in the buildings because if you blow out the windows, you won't be able to breathe in there. And I can't breathe in the main room now. But once you come out here, this is the area you want to do. You want to run over here with your hacking device. And now if the box is here, that makes life even more awesome. But it wasn't for me. So you can actually use the hacking device to hack the box that's not there. It costs 1,200 points instead of 950. 1,200 and you can uh, use the box. You can also use it to, uh, if you have more money, you can use 600 to uh, re-roll it. Uh, so that's as well. But I get a China Lake. Not a big deal. So what you want to do is you just want to run around this area. This is where you're going to be the entire map. This is the biggest area. You can breathe in here. And you can use the hacking device. And I'll show you what you're, we're going to hack later on. Just going to kill this zombie. Uh, so now you should have the M14. Hopefully a better gun than the China Lake. And the Bowie knife. And so you're just going to run around this map. Uh, you know, rape train it up. Uh, it's a big area. And if you play it, you can see, you know, it's really easy to run around. It's really, you know, just one to run to one side, and then when all the zombies come, run to the other. Um, if you're not good at, like, juking out the zombies, you can even just jump on the, the yellow things, and they'll throw you in the air and then go that way, which we're actually saving up enough money so we can buy um, PhD Flopper. That way, if we do mess up the, the top, uh, the flying things, because sometimes it doesn't throw you in the right spot. Uh, if you fall off, you die. So we're going to need Flopper so we take no fall damage. So we're just going to run around this map, as you can see here gather up the points for the PhD flopper 
and uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna skip here in a bit uh, because I know you don't want to watch me run. But you should also shoot a lot of bullets in them. Uh, I think like whatever round it is with the M14. Here we bought the flopper for 2,000, so you'll need enough for that. Uh, but what you want to do is when um you want to shoot like whatever round it is, shoot that many bullets in the zombie and then knife them. Well minus one so it's like if it's round five shoot four bullets and then knife with the bowie knife it'll kill him and you can get a lot of points that way and here as you can see I'm flying if you get overwhelmed you can just jump on these things now that you have flopper and uh, the zombies won't be able to get you and you could actually just jump on it again here we're gonna buy the mp5 it traded it out for that we're also going to hack it so you want to have enough which is four thousand here I need a little bit more points but when you buy the MP5, now I hacked it. Uh, I guess you don't really have to. Maybe you could buy the 74U, but you don't have oxygen out there. So you want to keep the hacking device. So I just chose the MP5 so I can just keep buying it if I need it. And then here I get a death machine. So after you get that, uh, you know, you just want to go back and saving up points. Uh, so now what objective is is to get better guns. So, you know, just run the rape train with the MP5. You got flopper and you got juggernaut. Uh, shoot your bullets into it with the MP5 and then, uh, and then just knife them. But right here... If you hear that, it means that it's going to crush your biodome. Now, you don't really need to worry so much. You should still worry, but you don't need to worry so much if um, if it doesn't say biodome, if it says, like, level 11 or something like that. But regardless, once it happens, you want to open that door for a 1,000, run out here and jump on the teleporter. Um, this is also good if you have enough money to teleport. I mean, to pack a punch, I'm sorry. Um, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm packing punch in my uh, MP5, and... Once you uh, hack a gun, like I hacked the the MP5 for 3,000 points, um, then upgraded ammo is only 600 and regular ammo is 4,500. So if you have it upgraded, then you can just keep buying uh, ammo off the wall. But we actually don't ever buy ammo off the wall. So technically, I guess you don't have to hack that gun. Uh, but just in case something goes wrong, you could do that. So now, right here, we have no oxygen, but we're gonna, we're gonna run over here. You gotta find the one that's blinking green. If it's the biodome, it's this one. If it's another area, it's that one. As long as you have Juggernaut, you will be able to survive. Then just run in there for health. And now, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run the whole way back to the biodome. So we're gonna take our uh, gun, and there is oxygen in all these areas as long as you stop the excavator. If you didn't stop the excavator, then you're most likely gonna end up getting screwed over. You're gonna have to go the other way, and you're probably gonna die, or you have to buy a spacesuit so you don't die. But right here, you have enough time to run through here. Um, I would like to get stamina up, but I did not. Um, I bought some other perks instead. Uh, but stamina up would be would come in handy as well. And there is gravity here, so you don't have to worry about like flying away. Make sure you're careful when running through the doors. There might be zombies there because they will spawn even though you weren't in here. But we're back to this area, and now we're just going to run around and get some more points. Now right here is a cool thing. When you have 5,000 points, uh, you can hack any of the drops, and it will give you a max ammo. If you hack a max ammo, it will give you a fire sale. So you could do that if you need a new gun. But uh, that's all you're going to do now is you're going to use a hacker when you need ammo. Um, you're gonna hack it, uh, hack the power up and get uh, max ammo. And then when you need new guns, you're gonna just come over here and it's gonna be a more expensive, it's gonna be 1200, but we're gonna do that. And uh, you want the Gersh device. If you do get the other ones, um, the QED, trade them in for the Gersh device if you get the Gersh device. And the reason why is because then you can throw right here, when you get a power up and you need a max ammo, throw two Gersh devices, make sure you throw two. If you only throw one, you're probably gonna get killed. But throw two of the Gersh devices and then just hack the power up, stand up to it really close, uh, inch your way to it if need be, and hold X and it'll start hacking it, make sure you don't get it, and then you get a max ammo, and now you got all those Gersh devices back, and that's pretty much it, now we're just going to go back to this box to get a better gun, um, we already have the Gersh device, and we already have, um, I think we get the RPK right here, yep, and uh, that's good, if you don't like it, like I said, for 600 points you can re-roll it, and uh, and you get another chance, but uh, but most likely you know just take whatever you get and you can come back later. And it, you can't you can't hack the guns like right away, um, like the box. You can only hack it like once around and once ever so often. But right here now we have enough money to go upgrade, so we're gonna upgrade the RPK. Uh, again, just do the thing when there's a power up. If you need ammo, just hack it. And for the ammo, throw your Gersh devices, stuff like that. And we're actually gonna come down here <coughs> and upgrade our RPK. And now we have the RPK upgraded once we get it. And we're going to have um, the MP5 upgraded. Now, hopefully, if you got better, you know, you got luckier, you got better guns. Uh, you, hopefully, you already have the, the new gun or the ray gun. Um, I'm not sure which is better. My opinion, I think the new gun is actually better because they can microwave them and they just stop in their tracks. 
But uh, also, uh, you could buy Quick Revive, which was behind you, which I didn't do until later on. But I don't, I, I don't think I showed that. Not a big deal. Uh, you can buy that whenever. But here's the, the, you know, another power up. We ran out of ammo, so we're gonna throw both Gersh devices. Well, two Gersh devices. There are three. And then we're just gonna get out our hacker tool, move up to it, and uh, hack it again. It's five thousand points, which is actually pretty expensive, but you're gonna get a lot of points as long as you have like an RPK or an HK or something like that, and uh, or you know just anything. So we're gonna hack it for the last time, and we're actually gonna get the new guns. Uh, and then what you would do is you would just run around, and get enough points. You would go back and uh, you would teleport. We're gonna trade it out for MP5. Uh, yeah, I'm P5 now. So now we have this, and that's all we gotta do. Now the whole, the end, you know, the, all you have to do now is just run around, rape train. I'm actually gonna show you how I rape trained if you're wondering. Well, I don't know how to do it. Game bits, please tell me. This is all you gotta do, and this gun is pretty awesome. You can uh, put them together, and then it makes like the microwave gun. If not, it's just like a zap gun uh, separately. And uh, these are also well if you run into a lot of zombies. But if like if there's a lot of zombies and instead of running into them, they're like, well, I can kill them with these guns. Don't do that. That's how I die. Just throw your Gersh device if you need to. Just make sure you always save two Gersh devices and uh, don't put yourself in that uh, predicament. But uh, that's all you gotta do. You know, just run around and then uh, when there's a power up drop, you can uh, throw it. Uh, you could turn it on them, which I will do here. Um, don't waste your gun like I am. I just wanted to see what it did. Um, but you know, just run them down one of these halls after you've gathered up all the zombies. Make sure there's no zombies behind you. If you do need to get away, like I said, you can jump on those things. Now, sometimes they turn off, but uh, you could also do this. Just run this side. Oh no, actually, take this. You could take it that way, or you could just run the whole way to the right side and then ju juke to the left and then run straight down it. But don't run into them, run beside them. Uh, zombies are pretty stupid, and you can get away from them. And as long as you have flopper, it doesn't really matter. Now, as you can see, I did it again, so I could keep doing this if I really wanted to. But uh, I don't. I, I wanted to get down and kill them. But uh, you can actually just go back. And you can also, since you have flopper, you can just jump right off. But here, all you gotta do is just spray gnome. That's gonna give you a shitload of points, and that's gonna give you the 5,000 that you need to uh, attack the power ups if you get them. And oh shit, zombie. Just be careful, you know, like when zombies spawn. Um, but that's pretty much it. You just gotta run around in circles. And here I show the microwave gun. If you guys were wondering, it's pretty badass. Like, they bleed out their eyes, they get all big, and then boop. Makes a little ting. I had to turn because I thought I was gonna die. But that's it. Once you get the the RPK or the HK, um, if you get the HK, I would say buy a double tap. But uh, RPK is pretty nice. And then once you get these guns, uh, you could upgrade these. I did not get a chance to upgrade them. But you could go back and upgrade them. But I would not say teleport a lot. Um, teleporting, and also when you do teleport, teleport at the beginning of the round because it, I believe it starts it over. And if you're at the end of the round, then you have to, like, say you teleport at the end of round 16, you'd have to do level 16 over. I might be wrong. I don't really pay attention. But just turn on the zombies, shoot them with the RPK, get enough points. You can go back and uh, buy, like, sleight of hand. And then you can go back and uh, upgrade the other gun, the zap guns. Uh, here we got two hammers. We're just going to throw this out. And then we're gonna throw this out as well. Uh, try to reload when you, before you do it, and inch your way to it. Make sure you don't run into it. But uh, get really close, hack it for 5,000, and then uh, we get all our ammo back, and that's pretty much it. So it's the same thing over and 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 over. So I'm not gonna show you that. The video's coming to an end. If you guys enjoyed this, this video, please, please, please give it a like, add it to your favorites. Uh, this will help you out really easy. And it will make uh, Moon really easy as well. And if it ever says uh, the, the thing's coming down, just go back to the uh, teleport, go back to spawn, and then uh, like hack it so it turns off, and then come back here and do it all over again. So that's all I gotta do. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. My name's Corey, and uh, that was a really weird ending, but I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day, and take care.